His Excellency the Governor will be commissioning the project. Senator Madu, the financier of the project, will be there. Mm -hmm. Our own son in the House of Representatives will also be there. So it will be my great privilege to be in their midst with you. Oh, it will be a great pleasure, Your Highness. Yes. I can't wait to shake the governor's hand <laughs> and tell him how I feel about him. What did you just say? What does that mean? Dad, you sent for me? Yes, please sit down. Lola, I asked you a question. What's the meaning of that? Don't be ridiculous, Your Highness. I am already. Tell me. Congratulations. Words of encouragement for his laudable programs. Huh? Your Highness. Is this something I should know about? Maybe we should tell him. Maybe we should. Um, uh, son, we were of the opinion that um, we have allowed you long enough time to relax. And um, we were thinking of concluding the last phase of the marriage rite between you and the daughter of Igor Kosi. Is that it? Yes. I think we should also pick a date for the wedding at the end of all this. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Would that be all? Yes. Except for your reply. Oh, that's fine. I mean, it's, it's fine with me. Shouldn't be a problem. Um, except... What exactly are we talking about? Tomorrow? Let's stand here, let's stand here. Let's stand here. Okay, fine. There is something going on in this palace that I'm suspecting is going on in this palace and I need you to be in the know of it. I don't know, it's just so strange and abnormal. Uh, Felicia, what is it now? What is it? This morning, I went into the prince's room to dress his room and the next thing I saw was on Wadi's neck beach. Is that what you call strange and abnormal? <laughs> what I don't really understand about it is that when the prince came into the room and saw me holding the neck bead, there was there was this there was this look on his face. I don't know, but it's just getting me so curious, so so curious. Felicia, Felicia, can you exactly tell me what you are insinuating? Okay. I think Mwadi slept with the prince. And that is equal to abomination. Shut up there, Felicia. Keep quiet. Who are you to say abomination in this palace? Who are you? Why are you, why are you sounding like I'm telling a lie or I don't know what I'm saying? Okay, fine. If there was nothing going on between both of them, so what was her neck be doing in the prince's room? Felicia. Felicia. Are you aware that I am his personal assistant? Eh? Yes, I am aware, and that is why I came to share what I saw with you. Do you agree that I know whatever he talks as his personal assistant? Do you agree? I agree. But I must tell you, Mwadi is not worthy of anybody's trust. She is not worth it. It is possible she would monitor you, know when you're with the prince and when you're not with him, when you go to bed and then comfortably sneak into his room and seduce him. Felicia, Felicia, I want you to calm down. Felicia, what you are imagining never happened. Felicia, I want you to go back to your work and do me one favor. I want you to stop discussing this rubbish with anybody around in this palace or outside this palace. Felicia, if I hear this rubbish outside, me, I, personally, will recommend a serious punishment for you. Ah, sorry. Did you get that? Yes, sorry. Oh, 
What's that? My God, I'm, I'm sorry, Your Highness. I, I don't know. My heart just skipped. I'm sorry, Your Highness. Why? I'm sorry. I don't know. I'll, I'll just... Sorry, I I I mean ashamed of yourself. What? Mom, I am indeed ashamed of myself. But I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Is that supposed to be an expression for that? Mom, I said I'm sorry. I take full responsibility for what happened. Yes, but if you think I don't have an explanation. Explanations! Explanations! I should not think you do not have explanations. Oh well, you don't even know what I think right now. I think you are a total disgrace. A blatant and rude detractor to our royal accolades. What are you thinking? Visiting openly with your own servant. Someone who is supposed to be your subject suddenly becomes your host. Are, are you insane? Are you alright? Oh. It, it, is that all? Should there be more? No, 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 not at all. I mean, I was just thinking if that is what is getting you angry because I visited with the household. With Wadi! Oh, damn it. An ordinary palace servant. Oh, will, will you just swallow your pride and shut your mouth up? You don't even know who you are. Son. You are the prince of this land. This is the title of Obulu royalty. So stop desecrating yourself. Stop it! Mom, I said I was sorry. Totally, I am sorry. But if you further want to push this, then it will be of interest to you to know that it was I that visited the household and not the Obulu royalty. Please, 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 please. Spare me all that and shut your mouth up because all your reasonings are nauseating. You are the symbol of Obulu royalty. And I don't ever want to have this kind of discussion with you ever again. Do you understand me? You said your father is doing fine? Oh yes, Your Majesty. He is well, thank you. He sends his regards to you. Um, he sent me out early today because he wants me to come back on time to receive his visitors, which he has later in the day. Oh, I see. You're quite early. Yeah, I'm sure your sweetheart must still be sleeping. He must have read through this morning. Would you want to go and wake him up yourself? Um, I thought there was something you wanted us to talk about first. Nope. I sent for you because I feel both of you should have things to talk about. I'm beginning to get uncomfortable with the distance. Huh? Well, uh, you have to come together, get closer to each other. Not on phone though. So now he must be awake now or you can go and wake him up. Yes, Your Majesty. I didn't tell you you are looking beautiful this morning. Thank you, Your Majesty. Coming from you, it's a compliment. You're welcome. Oh. I hope you people are giving those flowers good shape. Yes, Your Majesty. Go ahead and do it. Isn't 
bed a little too wide for the. Your uh, Highness, sheet. please don't worry. I'm going to get there very soon. No, it's fine. It's fine. It's alright. Just do it any way you can. I mean, besides when I'm in the UK, you're not there to do it for me. Your Highness, now that you're here, it is my duty to do it. So please allow me to do it. It's fine. Come on. No, Your Highness, please, please, please. please. Look, I'm still in great trouble if anybody sees you doing this. Oh, you will be in greater trouble if somebody sees you touching me. No, 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 your hand is oh. What was happening? Oh, oh, some funny stuff, don't worry about it. Um, you're oh, back earlier. Ain't funny. I said, what just happened here? What did I just see? You what again, you see? huh? You again? Uh, uh, yeah. It's okay. Oh. Mom, she can go ahead and say all she wants to say. I don't have a problem with that. Just say it without derogating on the poor girl. That's all I'm saying. I said you should sit down. Keep quiet. Sit down. Sit down, Nana. Princess, I'm of opinion that you go straight to the point. Very well, Dad. I saw the maid trying to seduce the prince. I saw how the is Trying to lure him to death, and I caught them dead. Is somebody going to stop this lady? I said it's the dead. You should give her a hand. Mom, I will not stop talking. All this crap is about me. Me. I will not stop talking. Because if I do, it brings down my prestige and my integrity. I won't take it. Oh, well, you have to take it. Because you took this assertion without complaining. So you have to take it. Somebody buying this crap. I said you should keep quiet. It's enough. This matter is closed. Your Highness! No, no, no. We have to get this on this one. Why, 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 why? I am still the king. The sovereign ruler of you and your opinion. And indeed the entire community. And how dare you go against my ordinances? I'm sorry, Your Majesty, I overstepped. But it makes me terribly angry. And you, Nana. Take the princess with you and get out of my sight immediately. Now I know. Now I know why that stupid bitch spilled drink on my dress the other day. Because I came. Because she is just. And you sat down and did nothing about it. And now. She's seducing you, my own man. And you still sit down there and defend her. I can't believe somebody's saying this. Look, look, you know what I think? I think you should just go away. Just go somewhere. And I bet you, Ada, once you leave, it will give you a better mindset as to whatever you think it is not what is going on. Hi, baby. Nana, just leave at once. Leave. With a whole pleasure. Just leave. I'll be outside. I know you must be disappointed by the Igwe's judgment. But I assure you, I have this whole thing under my apt control. Just give me this one more chance and you will never be disappointed. Okay? And do you think I'm lying to you? Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, no one thinks you're lying, not even the Igwe. Everybody knows what that evil girl is capable of. But I think this is her last exploit in this, in the, in this palace. Huh? Just trust my leverage and I'll make sure I anchor it on your own advantage. Is that okay? There's no problem. You have me on your side. Everything is all right, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Am I not? I'm not. 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 I'm not.
How? When I told you that Mwade had plans, you said I was lying. You even went as far as saying I hated her. Now see, she has been caught red-handed. <laughs> Could this possibly be the reason why you called me here? Why are you constantly making the mountain out of a mole here? Eh, Felicia? Me? Make mountain? What am I making mountain for now? I have not made any mountain, no. This mountain, it has already been made. <laughs> See, listen. I overheard the future queen telling the queen that she caught Mwadi in the princess room seducing the helpless prince. Hell! And you believe her? Ah. The future queen says something and I won't believe it. Why won't I believe her? Of course I believe her. No, wait. Oh. Is it that you didn't hear what I said? I said she said she was caught red-handed. I am sorry to say this, but I don't trust the so-called future queen. I beg your pardon. What did you just say? Of course you heard me. Eh? She's a desperate woman, and desperate women are known for their wild actions. So they can go at any length to do whatever they want. In fact, they can go at any length to kick anybody out of their way. So what do you expect? Huh? Felisa, what's going on here? I mean, what is going on here, Felisa? Felisa, tell me what's going on. I want to know the exact rumor you are spreading against my friends. Hey, Felisa? No, I didn't spell any rumor. Me, Ah, oh, no, now. Felisa. Let me tell you something, Felisa. I'm not monitoring you. Felicia, I must make sure your name enters the bad book of our majesty. Yes. Felicia, anytime I see you discussing anything against my prince, I will kill you, Felicia. No, Felicia. I, I didn't say anything. Be careful, Felicia. What? what we were just discussing something very, very private and personal. Hey, Igwe. Igwe. I, I am of the opinion that your handling this issue is not in the best interest of her that's ego and her relationship with her son. Neither will the way you would have wanted me to handle it be in the best interest of her son's ego and that of the poor girl being accused, to say the least. She? Yes. Are you also considering her? She's a nobody. What of her son? At least he's somebody. And if he told me that nothing of that sort happened, I should be prudent enough to believe him. At least not to undermine his integrity in the presence of the woman he wants to marry. Look, think, Chimwe. Don't always allow sentiment to be cloud your sense of reasoning. I know it's going to be hard on Ada initially, but I assure you that she will understand with time. No, Your Highness, I don't think so. I don't think so. For now, that Muadi must have to leave this house before she tears my family apart. She has to leave. Well, I don't care who stays or goes. But let this issue be closed for all I care. No, Your Highness. This issue cannot be closed. Oh, I was not pleading with you. You have been ordered. Madam, I am asking you for the very last time. Tell me the truth. Were you or were you not trying to cast a spell of seduction on my son? Madima! I'm asking you, tell me the truth! What is the matter with you? Your Highness, I don't know. If there is anything of that sort going on, my son, you should be bold enough to confide in me so that two of us can drop minds and find out how to handle it before it blows out of proportion. Dad, Dad, this is ridiculous, isn't it? I mean, the thought alone is even unimaginable. How could you possibly think that I will have something to do with her? I haven't said that, have I? What I'm trying to say is that both of us are men, and then... Um, you know, sometimes the vents may get wired up and the unexpected may happen. Dad, nothing has happened, okay? 
You have my word on this. She's pregnant. Who? Mind you, of course. Now it can be accused that Adam might not be making a mistake at all. How do you mean? Huh? always coming to me, eh? Do you want to put me into trouble? I don't want this kind of friendship. I don't want it. Felicia, I don't want it all. Uh, why are you getting angry now? See, I am always coming to you because you are my colleague, okay? I come to you because I want to tell you how I feel. People are dying every day and you don't know when you or I will just drop down and die. So I have to tell you what I have in mind. <laughs> Look, Felicia, I don't have any business with what you have in your mind, eh? So please, excuse me! Ha, 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 come, come. Why are you drawing me? Something tells me that the prince is not the only one involved in this issue. Nduka is also involved. Felicia! How can you say that? So how else will we be able to explain Nduka's unnecessary interest and concern over a matter that doesn't concern him. That is to say that both of them are involved and he is trying to find a way to cover up, but it is so glaring. Felicia, Felicia, hmm? listen to me very well. Let this be the first and the last time you will ever call me out for this kind of rubbish. Eh? I don't want to lose my job. If you want to, go ahead. Well, you see, it's not actually my problem. It's, it's, it's that of a friend. Do you know the prince of oh, Okose land? You mean Prince Obieze? Yeah, good. I know him very well. Excellent, excellent. Um, he called me a few days back that um, he's got this huge problem he's been wanting to solve. What happened? Well, um, he got this maid of his pregnant and he was just thinking about marrying her. The, the prince, to get married to a palace maid? Well, yeah, I mean, he got her pregnant in the first place. Isn't that the next logical thing to do? My prince, the world of royalty, it's not like our own ordinary world. Isn't it? Yes. Um, can you elaborate? Your pregnancy test result is out. It has confirmed Her Majesty's assumptions last week. Now, ask me this once and last asking. Who is responsible? I said I was going to ask you once. Who is responsible? Who is responsible? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Your Majesty. Please forgive me. I'm sorry. You are being considered for forgiveness. That is why you are still standing here talking. Now speak out. Who is responsible? <laughs> I am running out of patience. Or do you want me to get in the use to find out their own way? Oh, please. Please, you must. Oh, you must just please understand. Oh, please. Call him to call the use for Where is he? Where is the fool? Eh? Oh, oh. Should we be standing by here for your calls? Please, 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 your majesty. Do, do, do not call the use, please. I don't want to see who it is. It's, it's, okay. it's, um... No, speak out! His name is... Oh, Jesus. Oh. What did she say? She said Jesus. Speak out! It is. It is. It is. You saw 
son. What son? Who is your son? I swear by my love, your majesty. I didn't even get that. Oh. Your Highness, the Prince, I swear, the Queen is responsible. Liar! Oh. 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 Liar! It's okay. She's lying! Liar, bitch! I know. <laughs> the roomkeeper, Wadi, has been confirmed pregnant by the doctor's report. Upon interrogation, she heaped the responsibility on you. So what do you have to tell us concerning that accusation? Igwe, things might just get out of hand if we allow this girl maneuver us on this issue. It is very obvious she's lying. I agree with you, but it's imperative that our son here shares the same view with us. So go ahead, what do you have to say? Terribly sorry for about what? Eh? Look, that girl must be desperate. Oh, Jim, allow him to speak. Go ahead. Well, without means in my words, that I should be responsible for her pregnancy. What? Yes. No, you are not. Yes. You are not. Impossible. You're not even sure. So how, how can you ascertain that you are? You are, you, you are, you are? Mom, I am. I know I am. <sighs> how did this happen? Well, I came home drunk that night. I mean, even though I was drunk, I know what I did. I take full responsibility. I just want to take charge for my actions. That's all. Meaning? Meaning it's already happened that... I agree it's more of my fault than hers. Now, what I would like to do is to get married to her. Not because I want to, but because that's what it's come to. Impossible. Son, you didn't bring it to it, and I can assure you of that. Eh? So, don't even start thinking of marrying her. Your Majesty, you have to say something about this. Mom, it's not open for deliberation. It's not. It's my decision to make here, and I've just done that. You lie. You have no prerogative to make any decision on this matter. I do. But that is my life. I made the mistake. I want to handle it my way. And I say no. You will not and must not. Emphatically, it can never be handled that manner you want it. Well, I dare to differ. Think about the discredit this is going to bring to your father and the family dynasty. Please. Mother, you don't just get it. You don't just get it, do you? I made her pregnant. I'm responsible. And all I want to do right now is not just sit back and watch. What will people say? People will not say anything because you are not going to accept the responsibility of that pregnancy. You are not. Why not? Why, why should you? Why shouldn't I? You had your mother. You had her. That I would do no such thing. It's like you did not get me clearly when I told you earlier on that you do not have the prerogative to make any decision on this matter. Because you had one and you fretted it away. That was when I asked you in confidence to tell me the whole truth concerning the princess allegation. But what did you do? You you told me a lie. You gave me your your baseless and worthless word. Now I dare ask you, son, what is the worth of your word? It's worthless. So you are going to do exactly as you are told.
I summoned you here because something serious has happened. Your daughter here has desecrated the sanctity of my royalty. She is pregnant. What? And to add insult to injury, she accuses my son of being responsible for her pregnancy. But by it is true. He's responsible. Shut up! We are making His Majesty a liar, Wadi. Are you not afraid? You slut. What is the matter with you? Lola, please. It's juvenile misbehaviors. Papa, please. you have to hear me out. I'm tired. He's responsible. Didn't I tell you to shut up? Shut up! And hide your face in shame. Papa, this is not fair. This is not fair. Somebody should ask him. Let him say something. Will you shut up? Keep quiet, you slut. What is the matter with you? How dare you? How dare you condemn my assertion? Are, are you saying I don't know what I'm talking about? No, Your Majesty. Oh, Your Majesty, she didn't say so. She just did. By constantly opposing my statement. It means you have no faith in what I'm saying. Now, let me be clear. Did you say that my son is responsible for your pregnancy? Yes, Your Majesty, he knows. Will you shut up? Shut your dirty mouth up! Liar! You heard her. Is it true? Dr. Oswald, she said that you were not going to Is it true? No. She's... She's wrong. Did you hear that? God! Then, you take your letter home and ask her questions. Thank you, Your Majesty. But Ude, there are going to be consequences for this your daughter's action. For bringing my royalty to disrepute. And accusing my son falsely. Your Majesty, please step out justice with mercy. Please. Okwala, Your Majesty, you will make sure that the new this compound is made. Yes, Your Majesty. Opala, what is happening here? I don't know. Go, go, go. Gemba, go, go. Opala, is my brother here? Yes, he's here. He's well, then you go. Are you, there? Are you okay? You're back. Oh, sister, well done. Even this one, you came with Wadi. Is everything all right? Wadi! Wadi! Nanyu, they she all right? Everything is alright. Everything is not fine. Anupam. Everything is not fine, Ojisi Ekotebu. Nay, what happened? Eh? Ask her. Ask this idiot. Don't ask me. Papa, I know that this seems like, I mean, this whole thing seems like it's entirely my fault. But I know it is not. It is not my fault that I find myself as a servant in the king's palace. When I should be somewhere else struggling to better the terribly poor condition of this family. Shut 
Keep quiet. Keep quiet. Abama, I don't want to hear your pim. I mean, pim. You are just preaching someone about your terribly immediate poor family. Did the poverty of my immediate family make you pregnant? Pregnant. Ask her. Did the poverty of my family sleep with you? Yes, it did. The poverty of my household got me pregnant. My mother's ailments, which you are doing nothing about, got me pregnant. How did you think I got the money to make her get better to the state a few weeks ago? Oh, you think I cleaned the, the Igwe's house? Oh, you think I washed his dishes or I made his bed? Is that what you think I got the money from? You have no shit. My bag, don't you ever again raise your hands against me. Abama, did you see your daughter? You saw your sister. She's proud. She's proud with the pregnancy out of marriage. Pregnancy before marriage. Yes. Pregnancy without... Papa. Do you want me to tell you the truth? The prince is not responsible for that pregnancy. That pregnancy does not originate anywhere in this palace. Neither does it have any link with royalty. Chai, I am surprised with how you talk most times. Are you not the same Felicia who always heard that the prince sleeps with her? So, why are you saying a different thing now, eh? Why? I don't know what you mean by saying different thing. But all I know is that that pregnancy does not have any link whatsoever with royalty. <laughs> so you think the pregnancy fell down from the sky or what? Why are you sounding like a baby now? Okay, see. She got pregnant elsewhere and decided to impose it on the prince. That was why she kept sneaking in and out of the prince's bedroom. Ah, Felicia, you know what? Me, Udoka, I am now feeling very uncomfortable discussing anything with you. Yeah? Because you, you change like a chameleon. You, hi! You can call it anything you want to. But what makes me happy, makes me very happy, is that the prince is so wise. So wise not to have accepted that pregnancy. I'm telling you, see, the bottom line is wherever she brought that pregnancy from, she's just going to take it back there. <laughs> yes, come. Oh, it's you. Yes, I am. How are you doing? I'm fine. In the last three to four days, you I must say you've not been you've been looking downcast. I hope all is well with you. I'm fine. I'm fine. Um where where is mom? Well, she went to represent us at the burial of um, Omolini's son. He died last week and uh, is being buried today. I wonder why she's not back. She ought to have been back by now. Well, I see. Um, I came to inform you that I will be returning to the UK next week. Hmm. Why? Before I came, I had dropped few applications at certain establishments and uh, a friend called me up last night saying the interviews are slitted for a fourth night so I need to get back and prepare myself. Hmm. That sounds convincing but I hope that this decision has nothing to do with the issue of that girl's pregnancy. No, no, no it doesn't. Dan. Trust me. Good. Because all we did and the reasons why we did them are in your own best interest and in fact the dignity 
of our generation yet unborn. You know, uh, royalty plus royalty attracts, but royalty and unroyalty will certainly repel. I understand. I understand. Then prepare for your travel. But before that, we must, you know, fulfill our earlier planned trip to our government's house for the last lap of the marriage drive between you and his daughter. Yeah. Certainly. Of course. Certainly. So, good night. Good night, Dad. Yeah.